this channel, I'll be talking about whatever I fucking want. Okay, just so you know, there was this whole situation going on about four weeks ago. And I'll just say it right off the bat. No one has ever actually ever said that to a woman in person or online. But this tweet made it seem like a woman was actually called that when all when in all reality it's not. Tweet on March twenty second saying that I'm a woman, please don't ever refer to me as a person with a uterus burping person or person who menstruates. But she actually hasn't been elaborating on who actually told her that, which is why her tweet obviously caused a confusion, confusion among all of us. Then, 18 days later, she responded to a tweet that had nothing to do with this woman being a hater. Because she getting cooked by a horrible burpee person tweet. It was only about the haters who apparently were comparing the examples of one would call it these days apples to oranges. And of course, this woman replied back to her with a question mark. And then, this. She replied to this woman with a clip of a live stream of the podcast. What happened next? She was then told by this woman that they spent an hour defending you from the turf allegations rather than addressing the substantive problem with her comment, which is very game to me. But then she told this woman that the meltdowns of her wanting to be referred to as a woman rather than a perfect person is pretty wild because she'll never apologize for that, even though her take on the burping person tweet from March was horrible. And this guy replied to her with a question saying, has anyone called you a burping person? Anyone at all? And then she replied back about giving the, a perfect explanation to her side of the story. Yes, Tyler, I live in CA meaning California. Ariana replied to her with a question saying, what happened when you told this person specifically that you specifically identify as a woman? And I checked to see if she responded to this tweet back and she didn't. Next day after that, he comes to her defense over poorly worded tweet on burping person after this political YouTube let this said. Burping person is an inclusionary term for trans men and non-binary people who give birth. No one is saying that women can't be called women. This is a non-issue that's being elevated as a real one. To which he says, then what is the disagreement? All this started with Anna saying she would like to be called a woman, even though that's not what the disagreement is. Everyone agrees that's cool, so then you guys lost it and that started calling everyone fascist, even though apparently you're, you agree with us. To correct the record, no one was actually calling anyone a fascist. So what are you crying about? No. What everyone was saying is this. Choosing to support the transgender community without calling them a burping person is the total opposite way of supporting transgender people who want the same equal rights as black people who most are also trans. 
And of course, perving people shouldn't be used as a political context as the default term for women. But no one's saying that it is being used as a political context. It is only used as a health term. Again, choosing to support the transgender community without calling them a burping person is the total opposite way of supporting transgender people, which is adopted as a right-wing framing way of saying transgender humans aren't real biological humans. So, for instance, if you don't call a transgender man a burping person, then you are contributing to the problem that may never be resolved because racist humans like yourself refuse to be respectful to use the term that a transgender human preferred to be called. That's the reason for this disagreement, that you can't use the term birthing person when referring to someone who isn't biologically born a female or male. That's why saying you can't support the transgender community without doing this shit is very, very much equals to the way she has said that becomes the mostly transphobic, which is why she still refused to admit that she's wrong for tweeting the wrong message out there. That's why the one that I read. So I'll just say this, okay, I love you. And it's okay, and if you disagree, it's okay. If you wanna leave, that's okay, okay? Um, thank you for being a member all this time, I appreciate it. And, but what you're, in my opinion, what your misunderstanding is, and what you have maybe you didn't see is. So all this kerfuffle starts with a simple tweet, and then at least half a dozen videos from other progressives or leftists online, all attacking us and calling us all sorts of names. None of these letters were jank. None of them were. No. They were only saying you and her were positioning in the stance in which I just said becomes mostly transphobic. Like, be for real. Who is calling you guys all sorts of mean names? Because you can't really actually prove that on your show. But if you can, then start finding the tweets of who's been calling you all sorts of names. Do it now. Let's see the proof. But at this point, he can't prove anything right now because it's hearsay. It would be a waste of time for Jenk and her to go through all of this nonsense. So maybe you don't see that, so you think like, well, what is Jenk so upset about, right? So they call us all these names and they, they feel super proud about it, like, oh, we are more pure. So then I fight back on Twitter, and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, how could you insult us? We were just, all we were doing was punching you in the face. No, 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 that's a right wing position. You punch, then you gotta expect that I'm gonna counter, right? I don't mean you kid tested, <laughs> I mean, for folks who are out there, here, I'll name the name. Lance from the Serps, he's on here all the time on the power panel, right? And he comes out and does this uh, like video about how he's so correct and <laughs> oh yeah, the Young Turks, <laughs> correct? No, Lance, you're not goddamn correct. Nobody elected you, the polling shows no one agrees with you, your 12 buddies online, I don't care, okay? That reminds me, Jenk, are you going to run for Congress again? How did it go last time? Hey. And say, oh yeah, I'm not, he's uh, I'm 100 percent. He's 99.95 percent correct. Oh, I'm gonna correct him. No, 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 no. So don't look. You want to say, hey, I don't agree with you. God bless. You want to say, Jenk, you shouldn't say anything back because you're being rude. Come on, brother. Or sister, I don't know I, I what. I just gotta your be genders. honest. I just don't really care to like collaborate with any other leftist ever again at this point. Yeah, no, that's I, where, I, no, that's no. where I'm at because they come on the show, they build a name for themselves, and then they build a bigger name for themselves, trashing us as if they don't know who we are, as if they haven't worked with us, they don't know what our actual political values are. So I just, I, I don't, Jake. I never want to talk about them again. I never want to address them again. It's a waste of time. There's important stuff going on in the country. Our personal drama with a bunch of leftists on Twitter doesn't matter. 
if you never want to talk about and never address another leftist again, then explain this. Why reply to her tweet, the vague clip from her appearance of this podcast in the first place? Why waste time on Twitter engaging with her over your whole burping person stance that she was defending you when other people called you a turf? Can't you just ignore her instead of continuing this insane argument that you tweet first about? All right, last thing I'm gonna say on it because you brought it up is that I'm not I'm not the kind of guy to back down. You don't have to back down, but you have to take a step back and realize that you're not always going to be right on every day. Benjamin GL asks Anna a question. Anna, would you be willing to have a live stream with Vosh? Since you both politely disagree about a person with uterus language, would love to see more of you two in general. Um, is my mic on now? Okay. Um, polite means uh, not calling the person you disagree with the R word, which is what I was called, even though I've been incredibly kind to him. I've been open minded toward him, even though there are people trashing him and accusing him of terrible things online all day, every day. Uh, but he didn't extend that same open mindedness and kindness toward me. So the answer is no. Okay. Continue. That's a good question. Good answer. There you go. Uh, I guess he was cooked. People are getting cooked on the okay, internet, let's for just what move I hear. On, please. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hey, people on the left, you're supposed to be okay with disagreement. You're not supposed to be fascists who go around, you must have the correct opinion, otherwise, you will be destroyed. Whatever is what I say to that. As in LIT, leftists in training, I am okay with disagreement. But telling someone to do the right thing is not an attack on you. Also, to clear the confusion as to what Mosh actually said, he wasn't, he wasn't calling you the R word as you claimed. Mosh said at the end of his video, you just go on YouTube and you have like the far right or whatever. And then you just have a bunch of people in Hawaiian shirts with copy cops who are explaining why they didn't stream the past three days and calling each other retards. That's what he said. And you might hate me for being the corruption police, but in modern usage, retard is a pejorative term either for someone with a mental disability or for someone who is considered stupid, slow to understand, or ineffective in some way. The adjective retarded is in the same way used for something very foolish or stupid. Moreover, Anna, Bosch did not call you R-E-T-A-R-D-E-D. -E -D. You falsely claimed he called you names. Okay, uh, by the way, your opinion is nowhere near correct. So the people who are in that camp, the enormous percentage of the country totally disagrees with you. Or in your parlance, they cook you. Okay, all right, we'll be back. Anna, you're a very smart, pretty, and independent woman, but you shouldn't let Jenk get involved. It just makes this, this situation more, even much, much worse for you. Had you not restarted this burping drama in the first place by tweeting a black woman's tweet about someone else, People like you would have moved on in peace. The way that you tweeted it was childish. 
and if you don't want to apologize, that's totally grand. But someday, you should at least acknowledge how you said that you can support the transgender community without saying "perfect person" was unprincipled. Just either delete your whole tweet on "perfect person" or go to Twitter Blue and edit out. You can support the transgender community without doing this shit. Please. As you said before, you've royally fucked up. You burned in this. <laughs>